In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make images move in DaVinci Resolve. Now this is easier than you would think, so here's what you need to do. So first go ahead and find your media. I'm just going to drag in right a GTA 5 gameplay, which is royalty free. So I'll just put that on the timeline here. I'm also going to drag in an image, which is going to be the image that I move. So we'll also put this on the timeline. So let's just drag this GTA 5 gameplay at the bottom and then we can have the image on top. So right now we should have GTA 5 gameplay in the background, which I'm just going to mute and the image on top. Now, where do you want the image movement to start? So maybe on my clip here, I want that to be here. So when this image appears, I want it to start in a specific position and then move to another position, right? So just pretend this image is like a logo or something that you want to move. So you wanna click on your image, you wanna then go to inspector, and here on the transform tools, you want to click on the diamond next to zoom, the diamond next to position. Now we can move this up and down and we can also zoom in and out. So let's figure out the starting position. So make sure that your cursor is on the start of the image. We're gonna move this now to the starting position with these entries here. So I'm going to move it all the way off the screen and I'm going to kind of like zoom out a little bit. Okay, so that is going to be my starting position. Make sure these are red, which means that you've got your starting keyframe here where this cursor is. Now we can move to where we want the image to move to. So move to the end of your movement. So now we've got the cursor over here. You can move the image again. So we're gonna zoom in and we're gonna move this image in the middle. Now with these keyframes added, we now should have a smooth movement from start to the end point. So if we click on the spacebar to play this, you can see the image moves in and then stops. If you wanted it to move out again, you would find the point where it stops moving, so which is here. We can then add some more keyframes. So we'll click keyframe, which are these diamonds, and then we can get it to move off the screen by going and changing these entries here. So now let's play this and it should be all done. Now it moves on the screen and moves off. So that's how you can do it. I hope that video was easy to understand and did help you out.